Hey folks, Matt from artoftheimage.com. We've got a question in here from Dolcafil again. It's one of our regular viewers. I always, I always stumble over how to say that. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, so he says, uh, hey Matt, this is uh, Dolcafil again. Again, hope I'm saying that right. Uh, I bought a Sigma 70 to 200 F2.8 OS. Got a used mint uh, condition for 550 with a Hoyer pol Hoya polarizer. That's a good deal. That's very good. For my Nikon D5500, I have a 50mm f1.8 uh, lens as well. Do I need it anymore? Should I sell it? Because I need a wide-angle lens now, especially for landscapes and street photography. Please suggest me a sharp wide-angle lens. He's considering, he says, in consideration, Sigma 10-20, to Tokina ATX 11-16, uh, to the Sigma 17-50, to this Tamron 10-24, to Sigma 8-16. to Please add if there are more options. I want the sharpest, and I'm not interested in a fisheye. Thanks for educating people like me. Well, thank you for your question. And um, first of all, out of that list, uh, the Sigma 17-50 to jumps out as not an ultra-wide. So you've got a standard zoom. Great lens. The F2.8 Sigma 17-50 is one of my favorite lenses. Recommend it to a lot of people. If 17 mils is wide enough for you, then by all means go with that because it's more versatile. It's longer too. And it's constant aperture F2.8. However, you were looking for a wide angle. And that's technically not a wide angle for landscapes and street photography, you said. So out of your list, the Sigma 8-16 to is my favorite. I've owned it. It's sharp. It's beautiful lens that Ability to go to 8 mils blows away most everybody else in the competition, and it's actually quite a bit getting an extra 2 mil uh, or 3 over the competition. Um, just a great all round lens. Can't say enough good about it. Really like the Sigma 8 to 16 for a DX camera, crop sensor, APS-C camera. I would definitely get the Sigma 8 to 16. I've, I had at the same time that I had that in the Nikon 10 to 24 in, and I much preferred the Sigma. Um, back to your question, too, about the 50 mil F18. Do you need it anymore? Should I sell it? I love 50s. I would never get rid of one. They're low enough price that you can keep that in your bag. You can always pull it out, and it gives you a, a you know effectively a 75 millimeter field of view. You got basically a great portrait lens for your 5500. Uh, it's fast, so you can use it in low light. It uh, is because it's also a fast lens, an f1.8 lens. You can separate your background, your subject from your background. You get that blown out area. It's got nice bouquet. I wouldn't get rid of it. But that's me. If you don't think you're ever going to do low light or portraits or anything you might need a 50 for, then maybe you don't need it. Maybe you'd rather sell it, put that money towards the Sigma 8 to 16. But again, me, I'd keep it in the bag. Uh, it also depends what which F F18 it is, how much you could get for it, and is it worth selling? Because if you decide you, you regret selling it and then have to buy it again, then that's a double whammy, right? So that's what I would do. Sigma 8 to 16 is uh, my baby there. And you could have the Sigma 17 to 50 and the Sigma 8 to 16 in your bag. Great coverage. Um, but what would you guys do? Would you do Would you do what I suggested? Would you go with the Sigma 8 to 16? Is there another one of these ultra wides? Do you think he should stay with the 17 to 50? I mean, obviously, that's going to be a preference thing on how wide you want to go. And what about the 50? Should he keep the 50? What's your thoughts on it? You agree with me? You disagree? Uh, let me know which what, what you do and why. Leave your comments below. Let's uh, help uh, Dolcafil uh, figure this out. As always, it's great to have your feedback so our viewers are writing with questions can have some different thoughts to consider when they're going to make their decision. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.